Hey, beautiful people. It's been a while. Today, I want to talk to you about obedience. Repeat after me. Say obedience. So, I want to tell you the story that impacted me a couple days ago, and then I want to tell you what God says, right? So, some, some afternoons after work, I go walk in the park. So, I've gone for a walk one afternoon. As I started my walk, there was a turtle on the side of the road kind of like in the, the woods by the trail. And I noticed the turtle, kind of spoke to the turtle, hey little turtle, and I kept walking. And as I was walking, I probably got about a half a mile into my walk and there was a big stick on the ground. And I heard the spirit clearly say, pick up the stick. And so I picked up the stick. And as I was walking, I was like, what do I have the stick for? Is something about to come out the woods? Is there someone, is a dog coming? Cause the Lord knows I'm afraid of dogs. So I was wondering why I had the stick in my hand. So I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. And I get to a point and I said, you know what? If I haven't found the use for this stick, by the time I reach the high part or the hill that I was going up, I was gonna throw the stick down. Well, true to my word, when I got to that point, I threw the stick down, continued my walk, walked back by the turtle. And as I looked at the turtle, I noticed the turtle had not moved. I had been gone for at least, what, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. And the turtle hadn't moved. And I thought that was strange, the turtle hadn't moved. So I looked back at the turtle and then I circled behind him and I realized there was a hole and the turtle's right back foot was stuck in the hole. And as I reached down to pick him up, it was like, ah, I don't wanna touch this turtle. I don't know where he's been, what he has. I don't know anything about him, it's in the wild. And I said, I need a stick to push. There you have it. That's why God had me pick up the stick. But because of my half obedience, I got tired, I didn't see the vision, so I threw the stick down. I no longer have the stick. But God in his graciousness, I turned around to go back to walk back down the hill to pick up the stick. But as I walked back down the hill, there was another stick before I got to the big, big stick that I had initially. So God provided, just like Abraham, a ram in the bush. So I was able to get the stick, pop the turtle out. And as I was walking to my car, it's like I heard God say, if you could trust me and be obedient in the small things, I need you to do this because when the big decisions come, what you gonna do, right? And so I thought about a coach, I thought about sports. When you go to practice and you're in practicing uh, football, let's say football, and you're practicing the plays and you're making sure you know what route to run and how to get from one end of the field to the next and who's this and who's the quarterback and who's the tight end and who's the running back. So you know all of these things. So when you get in the game, you don't choke. You go ahead, you go forth, you knock it out. And that's what God is telling me. You gotta be obedient in these small things because when the big things come, I need you to be able to not only hear my voice, but to obey it. Y'all felt so bad. I was like, man, I was right there. I was, I had the stick in my hand, but because I didn't see the vision, I threw the stick down. Part obedience, still be disobedience. So I was thinking about a couple of things. I thought about Abraham when God told him, I'm gonna take you to this land. I want you to go to this land that I will show you. He didn't tell Abraham what the land was, what, what, where it was. He just said, go to this land and then I'll show you. And when Abraham got to the land, there was a famine. What? Lord, you told me to go to this land. There's a famine. When I get to the land, hello? And that would throw you off your purpose but you're walking in obedience. So even when it looks like, well, this doesn't make sense, the promise is that you're walking in obedience and God has promised to do what he said he would do. So I referred it back to Samuel, 1 Samuel, the 15th chapter, the 22nd verse, when Samuel tells Saul, obedience is better than sacrifice, right? So. The story is that Samuel had told Saul, go to the Amalekites, and this is a word from the Lord, destroy them, totally destroy them. 
Well, Saul didn't do that. He left some alive. He plundered the cattle. And the Lord was like, what? And Sammy was like, what? What are you doing? I told you to kill everybody, everything, every woman, every child, every piece of cattle, everything that the Amalekites had attached to them was to die, was to be destroyed, was to be completely wiped out. And he didn't do it. And because of that, this, that, this, that disobedience, God actually took his, his kingship from him. And that day, God told Samuel to go and find somebody else that there was he told Samuel there was going to be someone who was going to come take his place so we have to be very careful very very careful to be obedient and it's something that I'm working on I I just told you I'm not all the way there and I have so many examples of how God has told me to do something or not do something and I haven't listened and let me tell you I have paid the price there's a consequence for your disobedience there's a consequence for not doing what God tells you to do immediately immediately and I struggle with that I still struggle with that and so anyway I just wanted to encourage you today I want to encourage you to be obedient it's sometimes the most difficult thing because God he has a way of just saying go do this he doesn't tell us the whole story he doesn't tell us every process every plan every step he says hey go do this he says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you. If you notice, he didn't say, you know the plans you have for you. He says, I know the plans I have for you. So our job is to follow the plan that he has for us. That's it. We got to trust him and obey. That's all I got for you. Woo. Woo. Work on me, Lord. Obedience. Hey, y'all. Be blessed, be encouraged, be inspired. I love you. God loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.